Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Sacred Ash Productions. My name is Ash and I'm here today with Judy Fraser, spiritual psychotherapist and author of several books, notably Anonymous Mystic, Soul Searcher and Second Aid. Hello Judy. Hello, nice to see you. Thank you, and you. Thank you. So what have we got in store uh, for the guys? I don't know. So much is changing, isn't it? Mm. Changing times. Oh, very much changing times. Have you been reading the blog I haven't sent out yet? <laughs> yes, I have. Telepathically been coming through the airwaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's entitled Times They Are A-Changing. Oh, wow. Okay. Many people seem to have had a, a revisit of the last age, if you like, when they were looking to save themselves. And the Aquarian age, or the age that's in now, is looking in the best interests of the collective. So if people can't do that, then they go back to just looking at me, me, me. Um, people who can do that seem to have been revisiting the past to make sure they've done it and they've caught up with their thinking patterns now oh excuse me their thinking patterns now it's a bit like if you have a photographic you know you have your template of your life and your soul path but it gets cluttered up with lots of old negatives from pictures that you've printed along the way and at a certain point, you have to get those pictures out, have a look at them. And if you, if you don't, if you think what you see is a part of the past, you delete that negative and get nearer and nearer back to the original template as you can. Yes, so there's been yes, a lot yes. of stuff happening. Yes, yeah. Is it a question of, when we say changing times, is it a question of, so if you're not consciously doing that, if you're not going back to the path or the plan or the, looking at those pictures, for example, as you say, life will suddenly do that for you? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Very effectively. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and very suddenly sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting because it's a bit like when we were at school, when we came to the end of the school year, some kids moved up, some kids left the area, some kids had to repeat the year, etc. There's many varied scenarios that can happen. So maybe a small team go on together, but the rest are just discourse at the moment. Mm. Um, so we're having to look at our choices very carefully to make sure they are in the interests of everyone not just us and to you know the people who are very dogmatic or dictatorial in their leadership techniques people who have surrounded them to this time for whatever reason will just disappear yeah yeah and new structures and new formats will come in, in, in the place. Yeah, yeah. So we're in that sort of in between. Is it past? Is it future? Is it relevant to the here and now? The here and now, and is yeah. it my business? Yeah, because it's so easy to just continue in the old ways, the, what we're comfortable, what we know, uh, you know, as, I, dare I say rescuers and new age types we love to rescue we love to heal we love to help or think we're helping but sometimes the best help is just to stand back absolutely yeah absolutely you know it's the new age isn't <laughs> new mm, mm. it's been going on for yonks yeah uh, and if people haven't found their place as yet who are we to tell them what their place is? We don't even know our own half the time. Yeah, yeah. So all those people who have sort of stood out and said, I am the way, the truth and the life, come and follow me. 
are finding themselves swept off the path. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that initial surge, it was all right for that initial boost, initial surge, but then that's kind of faded now and people are looking around going, hmm, okay, what else? It was very disempowering and dishonouring towards someone if you don't trust them to make their own decisions and their own choices. Right. You know, that's true with parents with children. At a certain point, you have to let your child go and they'll make their own mistakes, they'll make their own decisions and they'll make whatever they can of their life. Mm -hmm. In the earlier times, yes, we've look, tried to look after them physically, even emotionally. But to go, to go on doing it when they're ad adult is a bit insulting, isn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's yeah because those those sometimes those family dynamics and 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 stuff they're so entrenched, and to be able to really stay exterior and go uh uh let that other person be an adult. One of my kids <laughs> once said to me, "Mum, why don't you trust your upbringing of us and butt out?" <laughs> 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 but it hit home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I and mean, you go on doing stuff out of habit. Yes. Yeah. And you need someone to pull you up in your tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when people think people are being horrible to them, actually they may be doing them a great favour, saying, this is not necessary anymore, don't waste your energy. Energy, yeah, 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 yeah. There's plenty of other stuff you could be doing. There's plenty yeah, of other... exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, there's a there's a lot of what I can see on the. Well, I would say it new age, but like you say, there is no new age. It's been going on for quite a while. Uh, but I suppose maybe we call it the resurgence from, say, for example, the hippie movement in the 70s, and then there was a resurgence of oh, we're, we're now going back into the shamanic style. We're now starting all these other things again and thinking it's the new age. But I guess people have been evolving anyway for yonks. Yes, and often when you get that sort of dramatic presentation, it's people trying to understand where they are within it. And if enough people do it, you think, oh, oh, great, flower power, hippie movement, etc. But if you go on doing it, I think, <laughs> you know, not so impressive. Well, well exactly. I mean, I mean, I heard a teacher say the other day, so it's, it's all very well, uh, you know, going ahead and doing what you love. But uh, it's quite interesting when you're standing in the doll queue <laughs> thinking about that. Uh, <laughs> It's, it's like it also does need a kind of growing up behind it as well, a growing up and, and, and a learning of structures and how do you do what you love? How do you make it real in the world? So it's not just about the love. It, yeah, okay, there's that initial waking up, which is great, but then there's a growing up. Well, that's um, the honeymoon period, isn't it? Right. But the, the, real, uh, the real test is living through time. Mm. Um, and again, some of these sort of new aging movements, one got very dramatic and put loads of other people off. And two, rather divorced themselves from most people's everyday life. Well, that's, that's separatist, that's not unified. Mm. So we have to be careful that we don't segregate various portions of the community. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yes. yeah. Sorry, go on. Go on. Go on. Well, no, I, mean, I was, I was just going to say, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I'd love to meditate and I love to stay hours in meditation and do all these practices and all that, but. You know, it's it's like that, an expression, I guess. You know, before enlightenment, wash the dishes. After enlightenment, wash the dishes that have piled up whilst you were meditating. <laughs> yeah, and you know, our society now 
unless we are very blessed, doesn't allow us that much time. Mm. So I said to someone yesterday when he said, I can't meditate, I said, well, do it on the bus on the way to work. You know, yeah. anything is better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be realistic. And if you have a wife and young family at home and you have very long hours at work, then use what time you have, whether it's cycling to work or catching the bus or whatever. Be careful, protect your own field. But that's your time to go within because there isn't any other time. Any other time, yeah. So it's, it's essentially, even in activity, like recently I've been doing a lot of DIY, but suddenly I've realized, oh wow, I'm getting almost the same meditative experience out of it by completely immersing myself in the activity in the moment. Well, that, that is, that is the, the key to successful living. Mm. It's not stop living and get weird. Yeah. It's within your livingness, being able to hold that inner vibration 24 seven. Yes, yes. I learned to meditate peeling spuds. Right. Because in my house, the only time you could guarantee the room was mine was if I said, I'm going to peel the spuds now. Anyone want to help me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, you know, I used to, um, when my kids were teenagers, obviously they were all mad keen on music and dancing. So I used to put headphones on and a Walkman and not turn it on. Yeah, yeah. Just when they walk past me every now and then go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my meditation time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think people get, they lose their sense of humor. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. What a shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all gets very serious and uh technique orientated uh, at the expense of life at the expense of real life real people around them where real help is needed that gets sacrificed not now i'm doing this <laughs> um yeah yeah and i think as we go more and more into the age of the group we must be able to fit in with various groups yeah. not just our, our own little niche. Yeah. We must be able to span the ages and the races and the mm. religions or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And learning to communicate with all, one and all really. And, and, and that's gonna be the, the whole thing about we are all one. It's very easy to say we are all one, but okay, how are you gonna live that? <laughs> You want to get information out of someone, be silent with them. Mm. Silent mm. with them, but good humored. Yeah. And it'll all come gushing wow. out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And give them a space to feel seen and heard and received. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to fill every moment with deep, <laughs> ponderings and enlightenment yeah and put our copyright note underneath <laughs> <laughs> yeah um. yeah it's it's interesting because um you know I, I went through the phase of you know getting on facebook and you know you read a a, a post uh, or a, a phrase somewhere by some big author and you, you post it on your Facebook and ah, look, and everybody likes it and it's all wonderful. But then eventually I just came away from that whole thing. Um, just realizing, well, okay, so how does it change my life? How does it get things moving in practice? And how are we getting things moving? Uh, and do we have to? Yeah. Yeah. Will it, ha will it happen anyway? Right, right. You know, the law of magnetic attraction says we will attract and repel what we need, mm. which is a, a, a law throughout the whole of the universe. 
Well, that's the phase we're going through at the moment. It isn't the big electrical, oh, I am awakened. <laughs> it's... I, as much as I did enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> What's coming towards me and what's moving away? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a natural ph phenomena. Yeah. And yeah. once it's happening, we can't stop it. Yeah, yeah. So we have to cooperate with it as best we can. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something that's coming up for me is, is you know, because of this time of change and changing times and immense time, I mean, sometimes, you know, people can feel a bit, well, you know, like the, the ground is kind of melting underneath, giving way under their feet, really. Is it is it a, is there a good idea to have some sort of map or guide or procedure on how to handle what's going on? It's a really good idea to keep rooted. Yeah. So your DIY or gardening or getting out for a walk in nature, if that's the best you can do. Yeah. That's really it. good but do it consciously be present with it mm. so you can feel rooted to the earth yeah um it's very very or run water over your feet that's another good one yes yeah um yeah it's very important that we we're here now at the moment yes yeah yeah and, and deal with what arises as it arises, I guess. Absolutely. Think yeah. globally, act locally. Yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing amongst amongst the whole kind of new age crowd. You get this vibe that, uh, you know, people want to do big things. You know, <laughs> well, I'm going to do huge things. I want to change this. I want to change that. I want to make a difference in society. And blah, blah, blah. But you're not talking to your neighbor. You, you, no. you know, the lady down the road, you don't even look at her. I, I said to my neighbour the other day, she said, are you busy? She said, I'm busy. Are you busy? And I said, it's been absolutely frantic. I'm right. beginning to think going to Sainsbury's is a day out. <laughs> <laughs> and we just had a good laugh and moved on. And moved on yeah. But a pleasant exchange. Exchange, yeah, 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 yeah. Very uh, interesting. Um, there's, there's. I think, I think there's a. Um, I want to, I want to sort of point towards your books actually. Um, so the three books that you have: the Soul Searcher, Second Aid, and the Anonymous Mystic. I, I personally kind of liked the Anonymous Mystic because it, it gave me so much in a concentrated form very, very quickly, and I liked the way it was written. Uh, I do think the second aid was more of a work workbook almost, if that makes sense. Well, it, it, absolutely. It yeah. Uh, uh, I couldn't agree more. I mean, that's a guide. It's like the rules. These are the okay. rules. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, the anonymous mystic, I enjoyed writing the most because it's it's reaction. It's not these are the rules, these are the actions that you need to take at certain times in your life. It's these are reactions that are very natural, but you have a choice. You know, you can either laugh or you can cry. Mm. Same energy, different yeah. ends. Yeah. What do you want to do? And I think that if we, I think we need more of a change of attitude, which we were just talking about. You know, if you hit a very busy phase, you can't say, well, I'm not going to do it, even if you feel like saying that. You have to do it, mm. but at least you can have a five-minute laugh with a neighbour during it. Yes, yes, yes. It's that it's that slight kind of switching internally from this is misery to no, this is okay. Yeah. This is okay. This is what I'm meant to be doing. It's fine. No judgment. Yay! Here we go. And noticing, I could be miserable if I wanted to be, but actually, I'm just going to choose to be pleasant. Yes. And, and, it's an internal i think people don't realize they have choice very often yeah it's reaction rather than absolutely yeah yeah but you know we we do have a choice as to how we react to things and we do have a choice 
um, if we have compounded certain situations, we don't not have to go on doing it in the same way that we've always done it. It's like I would have been resentful once if I'd hit a really, really busy phase. Now it's just I've hit a really busy phase and mm -hmm. it will pass. But mm -hmm. while I'm in it, I'm going to have as many laughs as I can. Yeah, yeah. It's a change of perspective. And the same it, thing is occurring, it's just internally you're looking at it differently. Yeah, which, and then you have a laugh about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, including that sense of humour, and then you get relaxation rather I than tension. I think we should have lessons in maximising our sense of humour. Yeah. Because I think that when we do hit a busy or difficult phase, we lose our sense of humour. We need friends we trust. Someone said to me yesterday, <laughs> he said, at this rate, I'll try to retire. And I said, don't bother. It hasn't done me much good. <laughs> <laughs> Just see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so basically, what would you recommend to people who are going through uh, these changing times how can how can people sort of get real so to speak like you know there's a lot of hype there's been a lot of hype in the so-called new age there's a lot of leading up the garden path and as many of us are realizing there's a lot of stuff that hasn't worked like the problems haven't gone away oh we're still here again but I think there's a kind of a hunger to get real and to sort of say okay we've done we've done prancing about like a unicorn not that there's anything wrong with that, but we've done that. Now what? How can how can would would something like second aid be a, a good thing, or should they start with sort of books like Anonymous Mystic or The Soul Searcher? Well, I mean, The Soul Searcher was my story, right? And you know, it's pretty grim in parts, right? It was a kind of a story of survival that however bad things get, you can survive in spite of yourself, not because of yourself. Uh, second aid was deep study in learning what the rules were that governed the heaven and the earth, which is more a reference book or a specific book. It's kind of more like an encyclopedia. And I think if you try to read it as a one hit, it's much too dense. Mm, yeah. You almost need someone to say, well, look, have a look at page 67, you know. Um, the Anonymous Mystic is, I think, more an explanation of our reactions to things yes. and an invitation to change them. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be interesting in the coming time because I think we're going to see, well, we are seeing our old leaders going away for one reason or another and new leaders stepping forward. We're also questioning mentors that have put themselves out there. Um, are they really as wise... <laughs> Because if they were wise, they might well keep a low profile and wait to be asked. Yeah. yeah. You know? And also, we have to have faith in young people who are really making their mark. Got you. Yeah. I was talking to two young brothers. Um, they'd done the school thing. Uh, their dad had given them, I can't remember, a thousand pounds or something. They're now only in their 20s, and they've got 23 houses wow. that they've done up themselves. Wow. They're yeah. employing three or four people. Oh. So they've got all the different trades Yeah. as a do-it-yourself team. Yeah. And these guys are flying. They're flying. But they're doing good for people while they fly. Whilst they fly, yeah. Yeah. How lovely is that? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. And young people like that who are setting an example yeah there are leaders of tomorrow gotcha 
and great they'll come in all ages all shapes all sizes but we need to be on the lookout we need to be aware to spot them when we see them yeah yeah it's too easy to dismiss people as too old or too young or mm. whatever yeah yeah you know it's, it's the old indian saying um north american i mean it's easy to talk the talk but is that person walking the walk yeah 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 i mean i i'm feeling what's rising in me for example is is definitely wanting to look at real real life solutions uh which are practical which can make a difference rather than you know it's so easy to be in the armchair and say oh well this is this is this and that is that is that and love is light and <laughs> no, namaste and <laughs> yes the pontificators i think will fade away oh yeah. yeah yeah and i think what you know when you need help you want a one-liner. You don't want a massive grade epistle, <laughs> <laughs> which you go away and think about and put into practice. And if you find it useful, you'll come back for the next line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I only wrote the books because I had the knowledge and I knew I had to pass them on for them to become history. Mm, yeah. You know, now I write the occasional blog and that's my lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost like, for me, it's like you delivered the download. Yeah. And it's out there, one way or the other. One way or the other. Yeah, yeah. and if you're not attached to the results, yeah. that's fine. You know, yeah. if someone discovers it 50 years after your death, so be yeah. it. Hey, did someone yeah. a good turn? Yeah. Because I think I think it's important to mention also because sometimes you you know you're just not so you're not ready you're not ready to receive that information. Other times you're absolutely in the right spot. That's exactly the information you need. So it's not a question of like even when I mentioned the books, it's not a question of you must do this. It's just that if you feel drawn, if it rings a bell and a few bells about anything we're saying, then I think it's for me. I certainly found them to have really juicy bits in there that suddenly went click inside and it frees up a whole space. And in a moment of where it was contracted, suddenly you have expansion and, or you can even have a cry, release that emotion just where it was stuck and feel reassured and feel reassured. Okay. Okay. Life is happening. It's tough, but it's okay. Uh, and, 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 and sometimes it needs things, books like these, which, which are very, the language you can, you can tell it's like a download. It's, it's coming from a, a different intelligence than say everyday intelligence. Um, and, and so I find it vitally important to, even if you don't take all the information in and do it like a, some big course, but there'll be something that will just go cling inside just that, just what you needed anyway. It's, all, it's often a joke, you know, that people who work it, at the point of change, the point of transition in someone's life, is either like a midwife bringing in new births, which is quite a painful and messy business initially, mm. or they're like a refuse collector who's <laughs> taking away the junk of the past. Yeah. So... so People who sort of think it's, oh, it's all terribly glamorous. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. not. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, one of my, one of my first teachers, uh, she was from India, and, and she said, you know, you're, you're training to become a, a, a dustbin man and <laughs> a garbage cleaner, I think she called it. Yeah, it's, that's what you're training to do, actually. <laughs> So the, the room kind of went a bit silent because people were like, did you really mean that? This is not quite the romantic notion I came No, exactly, because you know, you're, everyone's sitting there the, with the purple sort of, you know, fouloir around the neck, you know, awaiting the great transmission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and uh, to be told you're uh, you're training to be a rubbish uh, collector is uh, it's quite a bit of a sobering thought yeah sobering thought and there was this thing where she said um oh yes you've been used to prote protecting yourselves well guess what you're not going to be protecting yourselves because you're here to clean out so you know take it on <laughs> <laughs> if you're choosing to do this job you know if you're that, that is why we will never lose the need for good mentors right never um, because when they when people are going through that major transition, it, it's it's traumatic. Mm, mm. Uh, we'll never lose the need for midwives mm. because we hope that all births are going to run very smoothly, but they don't. Some don't, and there's got to be someone on hand if they don't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we, we will, we still need mentors and I think we need them even more. What we don't know is what shape, size, age or form they'll show up in. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this is exciting, really. This is literally not just birthing uh, through the process for our own growth, but actually the, the, the mentors themselves, the teachers themselves are, are, are being birthed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's exciting times. It is exciting times. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to remain aware. We need to remain in the present moment and not dismiss someone because we don't think they look the right size or shape or dress correctly or whatever it is. Well, that's, that's right. I mean, you know, I mean, this is probably the subject of another video, but I'll touch on it now. Uh, you know, like we've seen many teachers come uh, and be very successful and then suddenly only to collapse and we find out something about their private lives or some unethical, what we deem to be unethical behavior somewhere along the lines. And suddenly that whole thing, oh, there's a scandal and it all goes to pot. Um, but, I, but I wanted to know, you know, that, you know, sometimes these teachers do do good work and, and they have held the space. Uh, so how do we differentiate between that's the work they did and that the other side was just their private life, which perhaps they didn't have it sorted? Well, I mean, while we're on this planet, we can't be fully sorted all the time. Otherwise, yeah. we'd never move forward and evolve. Yeah. But nor do we need to set ourselves up for being something super special. Gotcha. A good, a good teacher will celebrate when the students they've had go past them. Mm. Um, so, oh, thank goodness for that. Right, you see, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Teachers who haven't got over their desire for fame or their desire for money or are just plain greedy yeah um they'll fall right yeah because they'll, in some ways it, yeah it can be like swapping one addiction for another almost. yes absolutely yeah. yeah absolutely yeah but then sooner or later it, it becomes obvious that you know you're addicted to something <laughs> well yes and it's it's you know it's if you've got someone's vulnerability in your hands to be unethical or to be abusive is is terrible yeah yeah so you know while you're while you're set up to do that sort of work it's your business to keep yourself clean clean yeah yeah and not cause the people you're working with any more trouble mm Mm. Once they're able to do it for themselves, you do, you butt out. Yeah, yeah. So I think that just reinforces the, the what you're saying about that, literally the, the mentors are being birthed, basically, the new, new way well, of I think, delivery. I think yes. they're already yeah. there. Right. And I think they've been tempered by life. Um, I mean, if you look, Obama, I would say, is one of the latest ones. 
he's been put through the fire good and proper. Mm. Now mm. he's coming out of the a famous role in politics. Yeah. And I'll be very interested to see what he get up, gets up to. Yeah. You know, um, Mandela was the same. There are some wonderful, wonderful people out there who are just waiting to move into their new positions. But to wait into their new positions, it looks like they're being chucked out of the old. And hopefully some of them are. Yes. But the good yeah. ones will just quietly wait and see what they can do and where they can fit in. Yeah. 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 And what would we say about to, you know, because I know like so many on the on the path, on the new age path is but if we're really honest, we're we're so searching for our voice, for for a way of expression, and uh, it, yeah, it's just an energy that's rising that way. I mean, how? But if you're not guided, you, it's easy to just get lost and and almost uh, depressed as well because it's not happening. Um, well, de depression is actually suppressed expression. Mm. So when our old way of expressing has outlived its usefulness, yes, we look for a new one. Um, it doesn't have to be some earth shattering, I will be on the TV with 97 million viewers. <laughs> so, join the local choir. <laughs> Go and sing with a pop group, do what you like. But, just get yourself into the stream of being able to express yourself a different way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe lose the unicorn outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I've worn one, but I, you know, I've worn something similar. <laughs> uh, well, Judy, listen, I think it's been very informative. Uh, I'd like to thank you for your time and I'd like to thank the viewers on YouTube at Sacred Dash Productions for joining us today. Until the next time, thank you, Judy. Thank you too.